All right, all right, all right. It is time for an update on the crafted weapon glitch in Destiny 2. Bungie Help has given us an update and they have essentially fixed it. However, keep in mind that that secret method that we were talking about for getting essentially god roll weapons or weapons that are no longer acquirable, what I'm calling FOMO weapons in this video, weapons that you should probably craft before this is completely fixed, is definitely a thing though. And we'll get to that in just a moment. First things first, let's go ahead and read the Bungie Help post here. It reads, update. In the first of multiple updates, which is going live shortly, a selection of exotic and legendary frames and perks on crafted weapons will be temporarily disabled. Crafting weapons can still be equipped, so keep that in mind, craft weapons still equipped, but these things are going to be disabled. Includes Osteo, Revision Zero, Dead Man's Tail, Dead Messenger of Excalibur, and all three exotic class glaives. This will not affect any versions of these that exist that were not crafted, so keep that in mind. We're currently building a second fix focused on replacing illegitimate perks on crafted weapons. So that second fix is still in the works. We don't have any update on that just yet, but when I do have that update, I'll bring it to you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now it's time to get into the spicy part, of course, because we're talking about weapons that we could craft perks on that currently can't get those perks. So we talked about this with the trace path. You can see here in its API that it previously could get shoot to loot. And so you could craft a shoot to loot one for all role of a weapon that you previously couldn't acquire. I used to actually have this role of the non-crafted version, of course, and I really liked it, but I didn't like it quite as much as my crafted version. So I ended up deleting it. But one weapon that I didn't delete is the other half. I actually have an eager edge and surrounded other half. And what you can do is obviously doing the glitch that I've showed you previously before, the double perk glitch and all of that, you can actually get surrounded or eager edge in this column and surrounded in this column here on the crafted other half. And currently right now, even after Bungie's first fix, this weapon will still exist in the game or still work functionally right now. Both of its perks will work. And so it would seem as though it might work. We don't know when Bungie pushes their second patch, We'll see if that ends up actually getting rid of those perks on those weapons. I think there's a good chance that we actually slide under the radar with this one though. So I highly recommend to everyone that has been doing this glitch or in any sort of capacity to craft these weapons because these are actually really cool and really advantageous. This sword is my favorite sword to use in PVE. And the reason why is because it essentially functions as a go fast, kill fast sword. You can eager edge, fly around the map, fly like how everyone does with eager edge, right? but also simultaneously benefit from the perks surrounded. When you're in a group of enemies, you get that big boost to damage. It's really nice. And getting enhanced around on it would be crazy. And who knows, maybe Bungie will end up taking it off anyways. But right now you can't use any of the bug weapons. PvP is back to normal. PvE is back to normal. The only last thing we have is this right now. So I'd recommend to at least do it for the other half and do it for a trace path, in my opinion, so that we can have some really cool, really rare weapons that Bungie would... I, I guess never know about or maybe never take away from us that would be really wild and would definitely be a reminder of this crazy time that we had whether you enjoyed it or not comment down below let me know your thoughts were you enjoying this bug i feel like most people in pve were having a good time melting raid bosses as you can see there behind me and perhaps people in pvp not so much but i kind of enjoyed it for both overall i didn't mind it too much i knew that it was just a temporary thing i knew this wasn't like this is what destiny is going to be like for two weeks type of thing bungie's been trying to fix things fast for a while now and this is a big bug so i knew that they were going to get on top of it probably within 24 48 hours and it seems as though things are closer to back to normal but keep in mind this little workaround that we have here and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if i have any more updates of course i'll bring you those so of course make sure you subscribe to the channel notifications on smash the like button and click on the screen here to watch another video from the channel i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later